Imagine this, a creamy, dreamy cloud of mascarpone cheese, delicately flavored with coffee and cocoa. Each bite melts in your mouth, releasing a symphony of flavors. That's tiramisu, the ultimate Italian dessert. This dessert is not just a treat, it's an experience. It's a taste of Italy, a celebration of simple ingredients transformed into something truly special. Tiramisu is perfect for any occasion. Impress your guests at a dinner party, or simply treat yourself to a little slice of heaven on a quiet evening. Once you try homemade tiramisu, you'll never go back to store-bought again. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's assemble our culinary troops. The success of any dish starts with the right ingredients, and tiramisu is no exception. For this classic tiramisu recipe, you'll need a variety of fresh and high-quality components to ensure the best flavor and texture. For the coffee mixture, one cup of strong brewed espresso or coffee, cooled to room temperature. The coffee should be robust and aromatic. One quarter cup of coffee liqueur, such as Kahlua, to add a rich deep flavor to the coffee mixture. For the mascarpone cream four large egg yolks. These will provide the creamy base for our tiramisu. Half a cup of granulated sugar to sweeten the mascarpone mixture just right. 16 ounces of mascarpone cheese at room temperature. This ensures it blends smoothly with the other ingredients. 1 cup of heavy whipping cream, which will be whipped to add lightness and volume to the mascarpone mixture. 1 teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, for a hint of sweetness and depth of flavor. For assembling 24 or more as-needed lady fingers. These will form the layers of our tiramisu. Unsweetened cocoa powder for dusting the top of the tiramisu, adding a touch of bitterness to balance the sweetness. That's it! With these simple yet essential ingredients, we're ready to create magic in the kitchen. Remember, quality ingredients are key to a truly exceptional tiramisu. Each component plays a crucial role in the final taste and texture. Choose fresh eggs, real mascarpone cheese, and strong, aromatic coffee. These choices will elevate your tiramisu from good to extraordinary. Now, let's create the heart of our tiramisu, the luscious mascarpone cream. This creamy component is what gives tiramisu its signature texture and flavor, making each bite a heavenly experience. First, separate the egg yolks from the whites. This step is crucial, as the yolks will provide the rich, custard-like base for our cream, while the whites can be saved for another recipe. We'll only be using the yolks for that rich, custard-like texture. Make sure to handle them gently to avoid breaking the yolks. In a heat-proof bowl set over a pot of simmering water, make sure the bowl doesn't touch the water, whisk together the egg yolks and sugar. This method ensures that the yolks are cooked gently and evenly. Whisk constantly for about five to seven minutes or until the mixture becomes pale, thick, and creamy. This process not only cooks the yolks but also dissolves the sugar completely, creating a smooth base. This is called a bain-marie and it gently cooks the eggs for a smooth, velvety texture. The gentle heat prevents the eggs from scrambling, ensuring a perfect consistency. Remove the bowl from the heat and let it cool slightly. Cooling the mixture is important before adding the mascarpone to prevent it from melting and losing its structure. Once cooled, add the mascarpone cheese and whisk until smooth and fully incorporated. The mascarpone adds a rich creamy texture that is essential for the perfect tiramisu. Make sure to whisk thoroughly to avoid any lumps and achieve a silky smooth cream. Section 4. The Coffee Concoction While the mascarpone mixture cools, let's prepare the coffee bath for our lady fingers. In a shallow dish, combine the cooled espresso or strong coffee with the coffee liqueur. The coffee adds depth and a slight bitterness that balances the sweetness of the cream. The liqueur adds a touch of sophistication and enhances the coffee flavor. Remember, we don't want to completely soak the lady fingers. Just give them a quick dip to infuse them with flavor. This ensures they retain a bit of their texture and don't turn soggy. Now, we're ready to assemble our masterpiece. On section five, building your tiramisu tower. This is where the fun begins. Creating a tiramisu is not just about following a recipe. It's about enjoying the process and making it your own. Choose your serving dish, a classic trifle dish, individual ramekins, or even a simple baking dish. The choice of dish can add a personal touch to your dessert. Each option offers a unique presentation, so pick what suits your style best. Dip each ladyfinger into the coffee mixture for a few seconds, ensuring they absorb just the right amount of flavor. Turn them once to coat both sides. Be careful not to oversoak, as this can make them too soggy. Arrange the dipped ladyfingers in a single layer at the bottom of your dish. This forms the base of your tiramisu tower. If needed, break some ladyfingers to fit snugly. 
This ensures an even layer and a sturdy foundation. Now spread half of the mascarpone cream mixture evenly over the lady fingers. This creamy layer adds richness and depth to the dessert. Repeat the process. Another layer of dipped lady fingers carefully placed to maintain the structure, followed by the remaining mascarpone cream spread evenly. This final layer completes the tower, giving it a smooth and elegant finish. Congratulations, you've built your tiramisu tower. Now let it chill in the refrigerator for a few hours to set before serving. Enjoy your delicious creation. Section 6. The Patience of Chilling. Now comes the hard part, waiting. Cover your tiramisu tightly with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least six hours or preferably overnight. Chilling allows the flavors to meld and deepen. The ladyfingers soften and soak up all the delicious coffee and liqueur, while the mascarpone cream sets into a heavenly cloud. I know it's hard to resist, but trust me, the wait is worth it. Section 7. Garnishing with Flair. After its long nap in the fridge, it's time to add the finishing touches. Just before serving, dust the top of the tiramisu generously with unsweetened cocoa powder. This adds a final touch of bitterness and enhances the visual appeal. For an extra touch of elegance, use a stencil to create a beautiful design with the cocoa powder. You can also garnish with chocolate shavings, fresh berries, or a sprig of mint. Let your creativity shine. Section 8. A symphony of flavors and textures. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for. Slice into your tiramisu and savor the magic. Each bite is an explosion of flavors and textures. The soft, coffee-soaked lady fingers, the rich and airy mascarpone cream, the subtle bitterness of cocoa, and the hint of coffee liqueur. Tiramisu is best enjoyed cold. The contrast between the cool, creamy layers and the slight bitterness of the coffee is simply divine. Section 9. Your turn to create. So there you have it, the classic Italian tiramisu, broken down into simple, easy-to-follow steps. Now it's your turn to create this Italian masterpiece in your own kitchen. Remember, cooking is about having fun and experimenting. Don't be afraid to add your personal touch. Share your tiramisu creations with your loved ones and spread the joy of this classic Italian dessert. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mouthwatering recipes. Buon appetito!